Okay, everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh, how's everyone doing? Okay, I'm off to downtown for my run today. I uh, have some things to get done down there. So let's see, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, thank you. I just checked. It's been about two and a half hours since the vlog published this morning. And the question of the day was a critical one. Thank you for chiming in if you've already chimed in about, uh, basically I asked about how many, um, how many uh, videos do you watch every month on the channel? How, what percentage of time do you get through, the, through each video? Like do you make it halfway through, 90% of the way through? Uh, and then the last one was, oh yeah, what would be the ideal length in your mind for the daily vlog, meaning a time stamp. So is it is it six minutes? Is it 28 minutes? Is it 15 minutes? Whatever. So if you have it, if you have a chance, pop back over to that vlog yesterday's upper right hand corner. If you've already answered, thank you. But if you haven't, that would help me so much as I figure out the future. Okay, onward and upward. Cheers. Hope you're doing well and let's get it. Another Monday, another week. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it a great one. Let's make it a great one. Okay. Okay, going a little faster than I thought I would be going today. It's an easy day and I'm gonna explain some terminology that I use on the vlog and on Strava so you are clear as to what types of runs I'm doing on each particular day. But today, uh, why do I feel good? First of all, I'm not running very much volume, but second of all, I haven't told all of you yet because uh, this, this morning was my third session at Stretch Zone, that's right. One of my resolutions for 2020 was to continue to improve my overall leg mobility and strength. Really piggybacking off of the end of 2019 when uh, I started the hip mobility exercises, remember that? So, bottom line, I'm excited for the stretch zone. I'll talk more about it, but right now, my legs, they, I wanna go so fast right now, but I know it's an easy day, steezy, which I'll explain in a minute back at the, uh, back at the studio. And uh, so I'm, I'm excited to talk more with all of you about uh, stretching and overall mobility in the legs. All right, we're about halfway through. Yep, let's keep rolling. Okay, so a little short on time as far as getting to the gym today. So we're gonna do our plyometrics and uh, not all the strength training that I can do for my knee. I'll finish it up at the house later tonight. Uh, but here in the park, we're just gonna go back and forth. Basically what you've been seeing me do in the gym. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> My heart rate is way higher right now compared to when I was jogging. All right, we're looking at a uh, we're looking at plyometrics here in the park, and I'm gonna do a little more back at the house. Um, that took 12 minutes. All right, 12 minutes, not too shabby. And 
I can tell like my knee strength is coming along really well, including my quads as well. So uh, I'm just excited to continue to, to improve. And, and that last one there is called Quick Feet. And I'm telling you, we did those in college at the University of Colorado. And I don't have, I, compared to my teammates at CU, like I never could outkick anyone. So I want to continue to drive home the point that we can get better together if we do the little steps like this stuff that uh, I would have, but it would have been much easier just to jump in the car and drive home. But instead, I'm gonna, I got it done, I got it done. All right, let's go. And we're back. Oh, hold on, dropping shoes, okay. A A6, oh, hold on, <laughs> dropping shoes all over the place. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna replace the Ultras, put the A6 Gel Nimbus Light right there. And yes, we are back in business. Let me just open this up real quick. Mentioned this in yesterday's vlog. Oh man, there it is. Oh yeah, that was a good, good cut. So I was unable to film some exciting shots today on the vlog. Hold on, the light moved. There we go. Now you can see me. Okay, uh, I was unable to film some shots on today's vlog because I did not have this piece of equipment, which arrived very, very quickly. Oh, I'm just so grateful for modern day technology so we can communicate and so that I can hopefully, oh my goodness, oh, 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 it makes me so happy, it makes me so happy everybody. So here is the gimbal, oh, so it's a little bigger than my old one, oh my goodness. Okay, this is a big deal, so basically I will be able to carry the GoPro much easier now. Now it's a little bigger than I expected, but that is okay way better than my old one so that's amazing how you doing youtube family okay before we dive into today's run let me pull up the youtube channel and check how many comments there were i believe my phone has been uh, getting a lot of notifications today so i think there's a lot of comments let me just check here one sec oh my goodness so this is this is unbelievable this might be a new record everybody 720 comments already and it's only three o'clock in the afternoon Thank you, thank you, thank you again for chiming in. And so far, what I, I've just been glancing at the comments as they've been streaming in throughout the day. I'm seeing that 10 to 12 minute range uh, as a popular option for the length of the vlogs. We shall see. I will uh, go back through all of the comments, uh, probably not till tomorrow once uh, the vlog has been up for a little while. So thank you again, absolutely amo amazing. Okay, today's run is the beginning of the third week of training for the Hamburg Marathon on April 19th. Today's run in the A6 Gel Nimbus Lights. I'm loving them. I'm loving these shoes, loving them. This is only my second run, but I'm loving them. Okay, so today's run, uh, three miles, 5K, uh, 755 a mile, a steezy pace. I'll come back to that in a minute. And I often tell you these numbers about my run, but sometimes, because I don't know, I'm just going too crazy, I'm like thinking too quickly, or I don't take the time to explain to you how I feel on the runs. And so I'm gonna try and do better with that moving forward. So today's run, three miles, felt very, very good. Very, um, it was supposed to be an easy day, it turned into a steezy day. So a little faster, again, I'll explain that. And uh, part of the reason why I feel so good is because I'm coming off of rest, my volume is lower right now, although I will say in this third week of training for my marathon, the goal is 40 to 50 miles for the week. 40 to 50, okay? That's my range that I'm working with, all right? And I feel very good. Now, as I meant, did I meant, yeah, I mentioned this on the run, stretch zone, stretch zone. I'm gonna film in there at some point. It's a location that I found and again, I'm trying to be a little more proactive in 2020 for staying healthy. So I struggle. I really struggle with stretching. I stretch every day, but I don't feel like I'm actually making that much progress. I, and I know it's not all about flexibility as runners, but I do believe that with my runner's knee, I learned a lot about my hip and quad strength and overall length of the muscles leading into my knee based on talking to my physical therapist. Therefore, I'm trying to be more proactive by going to this stretch zone place where literally somebody is stretching me. It's crazy. And again, I will bring the camera in there at some point. The, uh, the owner gave me the thumbs up that I could do that and show you what they're doing to me in there, okay? To make me hopefully 
healthier moving forward. Okay, so I felt very, very good today on my three mile run. Uh, yeah, for a lot of different factors. And I want to keep that moving forward as the volume goes up. As, <laughs> as the volume goes up. There's the chart. We're, we're about right here. Here we are. We're right here going up the, uh, up the elevator of marathon training. Okay, so and last but not least, running terms. Just want to be clear so you have an idea, again, as you're following on Strava or looking at the, uh, the training for the week down in the description or just listening here on YouTube, when I'm talking about easy pace, uh, tempo pace, yada, 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 all these different paces that I run in a training block, I want to make sure you have a good sense of what I'm talking about. So when I say easy, uh, that is basic, and it's a range. It's always a range, and it's always running by feel, right? That's how I train. So easy is nine minutes a mile, and there it is on your screen in kilometers. So easy, nine minutes a mile, all right? Steezy, all right, steezy. Shout out to Mark Wetmore, my collegiate coach. So steezy is steady plus easy. So right in the middle of steady plus easy. So you just combine them to make steezy. So that's about eight minutes a mile for me. So it's not quite a jogging day, not just plodding along, uh, just getting the legs moving a little bit, and it's not steady. It's definitely not steady. It's steezy. So right in the middle there, which for me, and again, for me, it's eight minutes a mile. All right, so that's steezy. All right, now moving a little faster, we got steady. Steady would be, yes, seven minutes a mile, a pro and it's all ranges. I would say put a 30 to 45, 30 second range. When I say seven minutes a mile, it's like a, it's a range there on either end of that. So it could be 645 to 17 minutes, uh, 715 a mile for steady, all right? So then moving a little faster to tempo. So I have found, it's interesting, but I have found it's right about 615, six minutes and 15 seconds a mile for me. And there it is once again on your screen in kilometers for, um, did I say tempo? Yes, tempo, all right? Moving a little faster, thresholds, okay? Actually, quite a bit faster. Down to 515 to 530 a mile is like, that is my window for thresholds. 515 to 530 a mile, and again, kilometers on your screen. That's threshold, a little faster. Interval work, okay, speed training, all right, that's faster. And then last but not least, the big one, race pace. Oh, you gotta love race pace. So just all out race pace. Well, okay, big caveat, depending on the distance that you're racing, of course. Obviously, an ultra marathon pace is gonna be a lot slower than a one mile pace, but that is the, that's what we're working toward. Oh, this light is giving me trouble, everyone. I'm gonna have to buy a new light at some point. As I've mentioned a couple times already, it's just, uh, it's overheating. So these things happen, right? These things happen. And that question of the day, where are you at in your training block? Are you at week one? Or if you just want to say the beginning, or maybe you're literally like next week is your race. And so where are you at in your training block? And do you feel like you're in a good position right now in your training block? Okay. Does that make sense? Meaning you, you don't feel overtrained or maybe you do feel, just communicate where you, how you feel right now in your training. Maybe there's an injury on the horizon. Maybe you like feel some niggles and you need to back off a little bit. So just communicate how, where you, for me, it's early. So I, my body feels amazing as it usually does early in it, as it should, as you're laying that aerobic foundation before you begin that ascent to more, uh, to faster work down the road. So thanks for hitting it up. All right, I think that's it. We're gonna call it there. Thank you for being here. Thanks for answering this question of the day today and also the question of the day from, uh, from yesterday. All right, everyone, we're gonna toss it back on the right to the spring marathon is chosen blog from last week where I announced my 2020 marathon and I already mentioned it today. And then on the left, we'll toss it back to the plyometrics blog since I brought those into the blog today. All right, everyone, see beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.